All right, Tara, thank you. A nearly 100-year-old building is the canvas for a Midtown Indie Art Showcase. It's called the Black Legacy Project. Yeah, so the Concord Building sits in the heart of the butler Tarkington community. Our organizers have big plans for this artwork. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey has the story. It wasn't until the 1950s that black people were even allowed to move across 38th Street. Before then, it was the line of demarcation when it came to redlining. So organizers here with the Black Legacy Project, they say they hope this exhibit brings new hope into this community. These faces tell the story of this community. Doctors, lawyers, artists, journalists, all at one time called this community home. Kenneth Sims' dad, Leonard Sims, is one of them. So this area here had nothing but doctors, lawyers, judges, state representatives. This project at the corner of 38th in Illinois in the Concord has been two years in the making. Co-curator Sabay Martin says she was encouraged to do this after a youth football team was fenced out of the nearby Tarkington Park a few years ago. I knew that something was missing. And what was missing was the important part that we were able to see as we grew up. To understand the slight is to understand the past. About 60 years ago, black people weren't allowed to live in this community. When it came to redlining, 38th Street was the dividing line between the black community and white community. Highlighting these community heroes, organizers say, aims to instill a sense of pride of what this neighborhood was and what it can be. But the gap is large. We have a long way to go. And so when people drive by this exhibit, what I want them to remember is good people were here, are here, and will be here. While many may feel like this community has come far enough, poverty rates and vacancy rates are still high. With the 46,000 cars that pass here every day, the hope is to inspire hope in the community, but also show the city there's a lot of value here. It's an awesome display and acknowledgement. The exhibit is expected to stay up at least for another year or two. Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.